Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Get ready with me. So we're going to start out with some Tarte Shape Tape because I don't have any eye primer because I'm a scrub. So we just put this all over your eyes and blend it in with a nice little tiny little beauty blender. Get it all nice and blended in. And then we're going to start with our eyeshadows. To start out with, I'm going to mix together a little shade that looks very close to my skin tone and then a white shade and just cover your whole lid with this as like to set the tart shape tape so that the other eyeshadows will go on very smooth. Guys, don't judge my palette. It's so old and dirty and gross. Then we want to go in with these two like orange orangey brown shades and just kind of put them in the crease. Kind of go all over in the crease, really start to deepen up the crease. You want to go in with a lot of shades so that way you get a really nice dark deep smoky crease and you don't even really have to try that hard you just layer colors it's magical so then we're going to go in with this bright orange shade and put that all in the crease again you want to take this and when it starts all the product starts to leave your brush you want to drag it up towards your eyebrow just distribute the product get it all nice and blended and then we're going to go in with the second layer of this bright orange color you just want to deepen up that bright orange you want to just go ahead and repeat the same step, same motion, just swiping back and forth on your eyelid, going covering from the inner corner to the outer corner. And then we're going to take this like medium brown shade and start working that into our crease. We want to keep this low in the crease though. You want to cover the whole crease from inner corner to out outer corner and then you want to drag it down towards your eyeball, not up towards your eyebrow. And then just go ahead and blend and blend until you fingers full of then you're gonna have to take a second and stop and just really feel yourself girl or this eyeshadow look is not for you and then we're gonna take a blending brush with nothing on it and just blend up to your eyebrows to make the lines nice and smooth nice and uh, gradient nice look and then we're gonna take like a flat stippling brush I don't really know what you call this and then we're gonna get this beautiful gold dark gold bronzy sparkly shade and just cover your whole lid with that well not your whole lid everything that you have not covered previously with eyeshadow like yeah <laughs> just cover your lid and it works better if you put some mac F fix plus on your brush just a little bit don't get your brush soaking wet or else it kind of defeats the purpose and then you want to go back in with the blending brush and blend out your edges so it doesn't look too harsh or you know you didn't like mess up anything I don't have any face primer so I'm going to be extra ratchet again and go in with some Tarte Shape Tape and just put this all over my face where like I really need that extra concealing. I usually use like a like a tinted primer because my face is so dang pink. So yeah, we're just going to go in with this and blend it all out really nicely. Just uh, really blend it. I'm using a cheap um, Sephora blend, uh, Beauty Blender. It kind of picks up a lot of product. But other than that, it works fine. It's the job done. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore foundation. This is the Lumi True Match by L'Oreal. And I'm just going to go ahead and put two pumps on my finger and distribute that on my face. I'm going to use my hands because, like I said, I'm ratchet and I don't have a beauty blender or a real technique sponge, which is my favorite. So, yeah. It's easier to get this blended with these tiny, tiny blendy blender, beauty blender, beauty blender, if you use your hands to distribute it. Okay, so I know this is a lot of product, but I'm going to go back in with the Tarte Shape Tape and put this in my under eye zone and then on my forehead in a triangle and on my chin. You want to just blend underneath your eyes really well, but kind of leave it slightly unblended and blend all your other areas because I've found this the best way to get this like a super opaque like pigmented I have really bad under eye veins so this is the only way I found that I can cover them once you finish blending everything else go back to under eye and blend it out and now I'm going in with a Tarte sculpting stick I don't know what shade this is because it's so old and the, everything's worn off but you want to just kind of go on your cheeks your forehead your nose under your chin if you're like me and have a big old double chin it kind of helps to hide it a little bit then you want to just go in with your beauty blender and blend away with this beauty blender it kind of picked up a lot of the product you can see it kind of left my face looking like bare so yeah i don't know if i would recommend this beauty blender for this product but this product is amazing guys if you guys need a good bronzer for contouring this is amazeballs 
Okay, I slightly messed up my eyeshadow, so I'm just going to go in and fix that really quick before we get on. And I'm going to go in with this Too Faced bronzer, chocolate bronzer. Smells so good. I'm just going to go ahead and hit all those places that you just put that sharp, or the tart sculpting stick. <laughs> and yeah, just go over all those places with that and get it nice and blended. I'm using a Real Techni Techniques like foundation brush, I think. And then I'm going to go in with a Morphe sculpting brush to try to get a really nice contour going on here you know let's see what we get and then i'm gonna go on with a similar brush from morphe and i'm actually going to use the same white shade that we used on my eyes because i'm ratchet like i said and i don't have any powder right now so i'm just going to use that on all my spots that need to be um set because i'm white as a ghost so this white powder really works and just go ahead and set all your places if you're not ratchet go ahead and use a powder you know works better Okay, now I'm going to go in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow because I ran out of her brow whiz. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb my brows, whatever. And then I'm going to go in with this. It's in the shade Taupe. It's kind of too dark for me, but you know, we kick it. And I'm just going to try to fill in my eyebrows the best that I can, even though they're really hairy caterpillars. And I should have waxed them for this video, but you know what? It's okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and... Fill them in, brush them, because it's so dark, you got to try to brush some of the product out. Yeah. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And remember, guys, eyebrows are not sisters. They're like cousins. Or you know what? Sometimes they're not even related. And that's okay. As long as you're feeling yourself, that's all that matters, girl. Sometimes your eyebrows are more like long lost, uh, never seen before, first time ever meeting. Alright, now we're going to go back in with the MVP of this makeup tutorial. It is Tarte Shape Tape and we're going to really try to clean up and sculpt these eyebrows. Because your girl eyebrows are hairy, so we just got to try to clean them up as best we can. Yeah, just uh, kind of make them look decent, or at least halfway decent, am I right? I find it easier to go in with your finger to help blend this out. It's a lot easier than the brush, at least for me. I don't know. But yeah. You just go ahead and blend it all out, try to make it look really good, make it look like you didn't mess up. And then, because let's just get real, I just found this. I'm going to go in with my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It smells so good, and I'm just going to go over, like, basically my whole face and my neck because I'm white. And And then I'm going to go in with this blush by Milani. It's actually in the shade Luminoso. It's a Jaclyn Hill favorite. And it just gives the, your cheeks this prettiest pink, like, glowy. It's just amazing. You guys, go out and get it. It's literally so cheap. It's by Milani. You know it's cheap. You know it's good. And then I'm going to go in with these Flutter eyelashes. And uh, I think they're called Provocative. I'm just going to put a little duo lash glue in black. Yeah, this is my first time applying fake lashes in so long. So this was kind of a struggle for me. But yeah, when they're on, they look so good. But when they're on and you only got one, you know you look a little funny. Kind of like Terminator. You know what I mean. So yeah, then we're just going to go ahead and stick the number two eyelash on with so much more ease. Because you know it's easier once you get one on. The second one just kind of floats in. Anyways, then we're just going to go ahead with our Jeffree Star. A little in Siberian gold girl. Yeah, you know. You're just going to go ahead and get glow. Go ahead and put that everywhere on your freaking lip, on your... I love to put it on like the peak above your eyebrow. Make sure eyebrows look like they're so high. Anyways, yeah, just go ahead and glow your face, girl. Glow it. And then we're going to move on to the hair. So I'm doing no heat hairstyles for this next few months. I'm trying to repair my damaged hair. So I'm just going to go and take all these braids out from last night. My bad. It's just two braids. I don't know why I said all these braids. Just going to take my braids out from last night. And just going to go ahead and flip your hair upside down. And try to really get some volume in your hair. Even though it didn't really work for me. And I didn't really know what to do with my hair, so I decided I'm going to do two waterfall braids on either side of my head. So what you're going to want to do is start out with three sections of hair, and you're going to pick up one section to add. And then when you pick up the bottom section, add hair to it. You don't want to drop it right away. You want to wait until you get some more hair from the top. Do one more loop and then drop it on the way down. I'm not very good at explaining this. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how I do waterfall braids or how to do waterfall blades, go ahead and comment down below. You want to see the video because I will do a more in-depth, like a clearer video, let you guys see actually what's going on. I know this camera angle is kind of bad and it, yeah, but girl, I got you. If you want to know how to do this, 
I got you. And then because your girl's kind of bald, you're going to have to go in and try to take out as much baby hairs as you can to just really kind of scurf up that space. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. I left a little section of hair on accident on the right side, so I'm just trying to match that on the left. And then you just want to repeat the same steps from before. Just get a nice waterfall braid on this side just to match. And then when you get to the back of your head, you just want to finish your braid, go all the way down to the end of your hair with the braid. I'm not going to be putting a ponytail in the ends of these braids just because I don't really care if they come out during the day. But yeah, this is the final look, girl. Just feel yourself. Oh, what? Girl, who are you? First time doing makeup in months, and girl. So don't judge my makeup look, guys. I haven't done makeup in a long time, but I've decided I'm going to start getting back into makeup. So if you like this, if you want to see more makeup looks from me, go ahead and give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below to do more makeup. And bye!